Hi guys, welcome back to my session, learn with me. It's been a very long time that I did not upload any of the videos in my channel. Uh, today I have some time so that I thought of sharing some more information with you. Uh, this session is also again on the topic CPI. Uh, meaning in the CPI we are getting a payload as an input and that payload is processed again and stored it into the target system. Uh, but some cases we may have to uh, change the payload, uh, what it comes in and uh, we have to change the payload format into the our acceptable format. So in this session we are going to see how we are going to modify the uh, payload, that means a content modifier using a groovy script. Okay, let us go into the session without any further delay. Okay. Okay, this is what I am trying to do it. The this tab, this notepad shows the input payload format. Okay. This is the JSON file which I am going to receive it from an external system. Okay. Uh, in this case I am not going to use any external system, rather I will use the postman to pass this JSON file as a body. Okay. Now you see that the, the source JSON is like this. You have a header data. The total JSON is called a shopping log where you will have a header data. Header contains the shopping name and the date of transaction and the uh, transaction details in an array. This transaction details contain the transaction ID, what is the article they have purchased and what is the price and the payment mode. Okay, This is the input. Now my system don't want the JSON input as in this format, rather I want the JSON format in this the target format. This is this is how it should come into my system. So what I can do, I have to read this input payload and using the groovy script I will modify this content into this content. So final JSON file will be like this. It has a log. The header will come as it is same. Okay. Header will come as it is same. And the transaction, I am going to make it as a summary. So transaction summary, total number of items, you can see count it. So total number of count are 4 items. And I want to look only for the card. I don't want anything other than that. So number of card items are 2 and the sum of the price for the card. Okay. This is how I want. This is how my uh, target output will be there. So how to do this? We are going to say it now. So, so we will go to the uh, CPI. So I am I am in the design mode. So I already created one uh, iFlow using a Groovy script, which I will explain you now. So I will go to my package and I created an article called content demo okay this is my iflow which is having a groovy script which receives the payload which is in the this format and using this groovy script i convert the payload into this format okay okay now uh, you already know how to set up all this iflow if you, if you don't any have, please go through my earlier uh, playlist, which contained the iFlow and uh, iFlow into end explanations. Okay, so just to give a brief, uh, this is the iFlow configuration where I will set up the iFlow name. The connection is slash cm demo. So from the postman, I will use use my URL which ends with slash cm demo which I will tell you later and 
one that is comes in the id as i told you this this json file which i am sending it through a body of the postman will comes in then the groovy script will take up and summarize it and convert it into this format okay that's all very simple now we will go into the now we will go into the how groovy script has been written okay okay now we will see the groovy script in detail uh, this groovy script can be add as very simple you can in the edit mode uh, you can add a component then there will be a component called groovy script just you can select and add it here okay which i'll show it now when you give when you suppose i want to add another groovy script then it will go there then you can look for groovy then you can select it and add it that's it you cannot have it till and this will be very easy okay now we will see the groovy script detail okay so this is the script i already added so i'll go back to the view mode sorry <clears throat> so let us go to the groovy script now i'll select the groovy script so you can give the name of the groovy script whatever the name you want and processing since i already added the groovy script now the script will be showing here so select the file okay since you know uh, the javascript and other things it will be very easy to understand uh the pre request is that uh, you should be knowing about the javascript or any scripting uh, programs okay so these are all the import classes we have to include it uh, to pass the json file okay this is for date date processing and this is the date time format these are all the classes to be used or the methods to be used inside the script so we import this classes in that the beginning okay now now let us do what we are going to do now so define the message so incoming message message will be defined then there is a reader object so from that we will get a get a body so this will this will read get the body of this file the whole okay now there is another object called input so i am pass the reader reader so reader is the object which i read from the body so it is passing the body now i am going to take the transaction as an array okay transaction as an array which is from this input from the shopping log that means input it look for the log tag called shopping log then it will it will take up this shopping log then it will look for the tag transactions then it will go here then find all you can understand now right find all items these items where item type where item type is cash so this is an item here what they are for item is the array element this item then it looks for payment type this payment type and where it is card so as i told you i am going to look only for the card items not the cash or not the bitcoin okay so for the transaction now you will get the three items three items or two items whatever the payment type is as card 
then it takes from this transaction look for a size how many elements has been added so in this case it will be 2 so number of card will be stored as 2 and this number is total size of the transactions ok and sum equal 0 then from here we are adding the sum input shopping log transaction price dot each so it look for the price this price and add it that's all so now you, you know this javascript methods so i will repeat again first it will get a message from the message it get the body from the body it parse it and store it as an input and it look from the input it looks for the transactions array put it in array of transactions then it look for a specific type payment type called card from there it takes the number of records in that using the method called size and finally it sums up the price ok now we have the information in hand now we are going to format in our required format so this is my required format I want like a log header and I want to have a transaction summary now there is a JSON builder class is there using that you create a builder object and then you write start creating the JSON file so I write header and I put a tag called shop and I using the shop name which I am reading from the header so automatically it will come and creation date I am reading from the header automatically will come the transaction summary is the one which we summarized using this using this methods ok so items number 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 I will get it from here card items number I will get number of cards I will get it from here and summary the total sum and finally I will close the tag and put back in the body again so the incoming body is something different and I rearrange the body to set back with my new set of body like this ok that's it this is how the groovy script will help us to modify the uh, incoming payload or incoming content or incoming body of the JSON to our required thing that's all so like this we can lot of things can we can do it using a groovy as an initial exercise I used content modifier in further session I will see some other groovy examples ok ok now we will see the output now ok so this is I already deployed it so I will go to my monitor I will see my last deployed is CM demo and this is my URL as I told you this is the URL CPI uh, CPI URL for me for my licensed CPI URL and the CM demo is my iFlow identifier. So using this using this full URL I am going to use in a postman. Okay. Now we will see in postman uh, how it works. I am going to postman. So I already created a postman. So I am going to call this the same URL here and I am going to pass the as I told you the input JSON file. Okay. The same same JSON file I am passing it. Okay. Now For example, let me say best sport equipment. One. 
and sending it. See, this is my output. I got the same header in the this is the, see the right. This is the original JSON file which I will be getting back in the required format. So transaction item number of four and card is two one it coming as eight twenty five. Or sixty. I think it is support. It contains all all. It's summing up all all items, not only card. So what we'll do? I will change it this cache to card. Okay. Now I should get. I should get all four as card. Okay. So the original thing was total item was four, and out of the two are card. Now I changed all to card. Now let us send it again. See, now all are card. There is a in the script. There is some problem in the summing calculations. If I go to design, artifacts, same demo, the groovy script. Yeah, see, it is simply adding all the price. We don't have any. Specifications called uh, it should be called. That is why a whole total is coming as the price. This way we can change it as per the requirement. Now I will leave it as it is now. So now you understand that, right? So this is how the Groovy script will help us to see change the the content, the body of the incoming payload. Okay. Hope this understands. Uh, it, this session helps you please leave your comments and whatever the whatever the doubts you have or if anything i am missing or something wrong please update in my comments i will improvise it okay and uh, thank you so much thank you